Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a craft room tour. Um, I am going to be moving from this atrocious rental house very soon into my own house. And so I'm really, really pumped to be finally getting to move. I've been trapped here for way too long. I don't know if you guys can tell in um, some of my videos, like the shelving and stuff, it's all crooked. My um, uh, camera angle, it looks like it's like, you know, crooked as well. It's because this house is crooked. The whole house is like sinking. It has terrible foundation problems and everything, but soon will not be my problem. But I wanted to go ahead and give you guys this tour before I actually started packing everything up to hopefully give you guys some inspiration and just kind of like record where I'm at right now. Um, I'm hoping in the new space I'm going to be doing better and it's not going to be as cluttered or, you know, just stressful to be in as this room currently is. Um, if you guys have any tips for me, go ahead and let me know. Um, down in the comments below because I do need some organization tips or if you guys know like a place to go to that maybe has some cool things that I might want let me know that as well um but yeah so the sewing vlogs that I usually have um obviously I'm not going to do one this week because I'm going to be packing so that's why I decided to go ahead and do a craft room tour for you guys um but you know hang tight because as soon as I move and get them packed and everything I'm going to go ahead and start sewing back you know up again and you guys will see my new updates and everything shortly so just be patient with me um and you guys will see what's up soon <laughs> so on to the tour okay so this is what the craft room sewing studio whatever you want to call it looks like as soon as you walk in um i have this big shelf over here to the left or actually it's four shelves um, it's kind of hard to see. Oh, there you go. There's a seam. So it's four shelves, four sets of cubbies here to the left as soon as you walk in. And I mostly use this for storing fabric. Um, <clears throat> so if you look in the first cubby, I have knits, bottom weights, spandex, like swimsuit fabric. Um, I have some other knits that are like mostly used for, um, like sweatshirts, that sort of thing. Um, shiny satin fabrics i have some lingerie fabrics here like that's bra foam um both of these up here are chiffon actually this is like i love the chiffon it's kind of like a crinkled chiffon if you can see it's so pretty anyways <laughs> um and then i also have like some uh power mesh here in different colors if you go down further i have even more lingerie fabrics this is all like corset fabrics I picked out for like the, the self, like the outside, the fashion fabric. Um, and then down here are all fabrics that I picked out from like, I got them in bundles or I found them at thrift stores and crafts, you know, um, garage sales, flea markets, that sort of thing. They're really cheap, but I think that they would make really good um, inner lining, not linings, what do you call that? The strength layer of a corset. So, cause I have like these like twills down here, they're really strong. Um, and actually, I think this one would actually make a great single layer corset because it has this really pretty pattern on it. But I also have some coutille that's actually meant for corset making um, and some duck down here as well that I wanted to experiment with. And then let's see, on this side, I have suitings, um, mostly wool. There's some like corduroy down here as well, but like heavier fabrics. Then here I have like some leftover bits of um, lining and this is some power mesh for once again <laughs> lingerie um, and then I have my fleece flannel and felt in this cubby right here moving on up here I have my Trico knits and some other swimsuit knits and like ruffly knits all for lingerie and swimsuits of course so more stretch lace down here. I have some more satins that I actually use some of these for my collection. Um, some chiffons, some mesh that I plan on using for some bras. Um, over here, I just have some miscellaneous fabric that I don't really have like a plan for anything. I actually got most of the stuff here. It was free from school. Either it was given out, like people donated it or um, at the end of the semester. Um, people who like left behind stuff like they dropped out or whatever there'd be like bins underneath the table full of fabric that people just kind of like got rid of because it's not enough to make a whole outfit so I was like mine thanks hoarder <laughs> um, more miscellaneous fabrics like an evening wear fabric here from Joann's um, this is a cubby I started for quilting because I had the intention of making a really cool Halloween quilt I haven't gotten around to doing anything, but I have plans. I have plans. Actually, some of this is from my friend Gloria. She gave to me. I feel like I mention her in like every 
vlog style video. But anyways, I have some cool ones here. This one's a zombie. Eyeballs, a little like, creepy scene. Anyways, I have plans for a cool Halloween quilt, but we'll see what happens. Over here, I have some leftovers from projects or some things that I'm just starting. Like this is from my um, Moon Phase corkboard DIY. Um, I'll link it um, so you guys can see if y'all haven't seen it. Um, but just like some extras here and there. Um, I don't remember what's in here, but I can't get to it right now anyways, but I think it's just like extra notions and whatnot. I'm a notebook hoarder, so I have all of these notebooks over here that I got for cheap and I just kind of keep them for whenever I need to make a new to-do list, which I'm ridiculous about to-do lists, so I go through them pretty fast. <laughs> these are all of my elastics for lingerie. Let me get closer. So this is just like a regular like lingerie pico elastic. I have some fold over elastic and then in here I have so many fold over elastic, rubber elastic, like any kind of elastic I have it. And it's all in here. <laughs> um, let's see, up here I have stuff left over from school. So this is my stage makeup book. I have my um, makeup kit from my theatrical makeup class. Just like paperwork and stuff, nothing crazy. Um, these are all jewelry making supplies. Let's see. Up top, I keep um, my scrapbooking stuff. So like scrapbooks, scrapbooking stuff, pictures and whatnot. I have all of my paper and everything in there. And then up here, I keep my um, stabilizer for my embroidery. Um, and then back there, you can kind of see there's like a jar, giant jar back there, but it's, I keep my extra serger threads in there whenever I'm not using them. And then I keep um, my portfolio here as well. If you guys want to see like a portfolio tour or whatever, let me know because it has definitely evolved over the years and I was thinking it might be useful to some of you guys. So let me know if you're interested in that. On here, it's kind of like my random um, drawer. It's got like soap making and candle making stuff inside of it. I really actually need to go through that and just get rid of it because I never use it. <laughs> here is my like crazy overflowing pattern um drawer this is after i got rid of a lot of patterns too like i'm trying to keep it all contained but it's so hard because i just want to keep buying stuff um this one oh guys okay so <laughs> i have all of these vintage zippers that i picked up throughout the years from like thrift stores or flea markets and i think all of these were like 10 cents or less that i got all of these old zippers and they're coming like really cool color some of them like that you I don't know I just feel like I don't ever see them anymore like these I don't know can't find any now of course that are in cool colors but there are some uh, neat ones in here but anyways I got these for so cheap so if you're looking for like super super cheap zippers and things check out flea markets because or thrift stores because you'll usually find them for like dirt cheap and they still work just fine Let's see, in here I have old mailers and stuff for shipping things out. I just didn't really have a place to store it, so I just kept it in here. Um, more fabric. This is actually all fallout from my job. Um, I have no idea what I'm using it for, but I didn't want it to go in the trash, so I just took it home with me, but now I have like a whole bin full of it. Um, this one is knitting stuff, loom knitting stuff. Never really got into knitting as much as sewing, so I really need to pair that down as well let's see these are um old shirts and things that i saved because they would make a good gussets for um like the crotch of underwear you know how it's made out of like a nice cotton i thought that these would be um good if i needed them like i have them in different colors and everything because it's just like perfectly good cotton fabrics that would work oh over here so i took a jewelry making class and um, these are actually like <laughs> sheets of metal so there's like brass and copper is back here as well and I want to pick it back up but I haven't been able to so I'm saving it for when I eventually when I can eventually make some time for myself to do it um, down here I have like some miscellaneous scrap fabrics um, some more down here. They don't really go with anything that I want to make, but it's good for like the tutorials that I show you guys techniques with. Once again, a lot of these, they like came really cheap in bundles at thrift stores and flea markets and garage sales. And, um, you know, if you want one fabric, you gotta buy the whole bundle worth. I mean, it ends up being worth it, but still, you end up with a lot of fabric. 
Um, here is my fusing box. So I have fusing, I have weft, I have um, horsehair down here. Just kind of anything interfacing or stabilizer related for just plain sewing, I keep in this bin. And then over here, I have more miscellaneous fabric. It's like not enough to really make anything, but just in case I wanna like do a little project I have here. And then here is my actual scrap, scraps bin. So you probably recognize some of this fabric from um, some of my projects, but like I just, I have such a hard time parting with like small scraps of stuff because I feel like I can still make things with it. So I save it for as long as I can before, you know, I get rid of it. Okay, so there's all of my fabric cubbies. Coming down here, I have this little workstation that I film on top of. So I have some stuff already cut out and there's like my DSLR or whatever, but um, I keep this paper taped down on here um, for filming on top of so it's not so dark because all of my surfaces that I could be filming on top of are all black. And so I try and keep something white down here. It's faded to yellow because of the sun, but I try and keep something bright because um, black does not film well so that's what that's there for um and I have a embroidery that um I was working on um I was hoping to get it out before 4th of July but it, it never happened so but this is my like excited patriotic hot dog embroidery that I'm working on um it's kind of ridiculous <laughs> Coming over to my desk, this is what my machines and everything look like. Um, I don't have a regular chair right now. I um, It broke a while back and so I'm just kind of using this stool here for now. It's like an ottoman, I don't know, anyways. Um, this is my current sewing and embroidery machine. It does both. It's um, an Epic from Viking and um, I got it whenever I worked there so I didn't pay full price for it but it is their top of the line machine and I'm in love. I love, love, love Viking brand, obviously, because I also have um, a serger. <laughs> it's probably one of the few jobs like that I worked at that I really have no complaints because like the company is just a really good company. I have like nothing but praises to sing about that company. So um, of course I love their machines. So anyways, that's that. And then I keep all of my accessories for it in the back here. So like it comes with a bunch of feet and then I have a couple that I bought as well. But I keep them all behind here just so I can get to it very quickly. And up here I keep extra patterns. Um, just things that I might be working on. I don't want to like hang them up in my closet because it's sometimes a hassle to get in and out. So I leave them here if I'm going to be working on them. And then on the wall, I keep all of my embroidery hoops just there permanently, just for easy access. Um, I have my, what little bit of decor in my room that I have. There it is, of course it's lingerie themed. Um, and then I have my serger cover stitch machine. And once again, I love this guy. I had one that had the knobs for the tension and wasn't computerized. And it took me sometimes an hour to change it to a roll hem. <laughs> or to change it to an overlock from a roll hem. So it was just ridiculous. Now it's all digital and I just put it in and it's like good to go. It's amazing. Such a time saver. Um, and then I have my dress form. And down here I keep my camera equipment. These are all of my embroidery threads that I keep here. And of course more notebooks because I can't seem to get enough of those. And these drawers here, in the top drawer, I keep all of my, um, uh, sewing stuff that I need to get to quickly, um, pins, you know, that sort of thing, all my needles and everything. I keep a pill bottle here for all of my, um, used needles and things that I'm going to throw away that could actually, like, hurt someone if there wasn't something protecting it. So, you guys should think about getting something like this because, uh, you know, for garbage collectors, it's really dangerous to have anything sharp in, you know, the trash. So this is what I do. I just keep it in um, a pill, old pill bottle or whatever, um, just so whenever I throw it out, it's not going to hurt anybody. In my next drawer, I have all my pattern stuff, tapes, pins, more pins. <laughs> um, these are hanger, what are these called? Pattern hooks for my patterns. I have my awls in here, notcher more measuring stuff and I have stuff for my machines in here as well and here I keep old um, embroidery like muslin and stuff to practice things I have some thread down here as well but not much and then in my very last one I keep all of my manuals and my extra books and things just like extra stuff that I don't really have a spot for so those are those and then coming over here 
Over here I have this extra cubby and then above it an ironing station and this shelf. If you're wondering what that bar is, I got um, a green screen um, with a back, like a backdrop holder and green screen. So that's what that is. I had set it up to use when we got the house and I never actually used it. I don't know if I ever will. I have a um, light reflector over there and then that is my tripod that I was using earlier and then some lights, but they're usually just like strewn about my room randomly. So they're never in the same spot. Um, so if we come over here and look at my shelf and everything, I have my ironing station. This is good if you don't have a lot of space in your room, but I'm definitely going to be upgrading to a stand up ironing board because this is kind of a nuisance. Um, but it's, it is good. It's mobile and everything, but it's just, I feel cramped. So I definitely am going to be getting a stand up, um, ironing board. This was my old storage solution that I had, which I do like it for the scissors, um, but I don't really care for this anymore because um, I don't really like want all the clutter and everything. So I'm getting rid of this whenever I move. But basically you just like screw in jars, the lids or whatever into the thing. And then you can just screw on and off the um, uh, jars so you can store like buttons and stuff in them. It is pretty handy whenever I first did it, but like it just doesn't suit my style anymore. And then up here I have a bunch of books, mostly sewing books. I do have like some like language learning books and stuff over here, but it's mostly sewing books. And a lot of these I got really cheap from half price books or um, flea markets. Like this, this one right here I got for a dollar. A dollar guys. And this is like, I really recommend this book. It is full of like good, useful information. So if you guys see this, pick it up. It's, it's just a good reference to have. Um, and then up here, yeah, more books over here like textbooks and stuff and more um like fo family photo albums and stuff that just didn't have a home <laughs> but this guy here um i got this years back because um if you guys watch the old thread banger um there's an episode on there that a lingerie designer came on um her line's called claire bear lingerie i believe and she has the same butt form and so that's why i got it oh my god let me show you guys what the butt looks like <laughs> It's just like, I don't know, it's a very curvy dress form, or not dress form, mannequin, but like, I do like it a lot actually. But anyway, so that's why I got it. So if you guys remember what I'm talking about, that really, really old videos, cause this was like seven years ago, I wanted to say. So yeah, <laughs> that's what I have. Um, let's see, and then coming over here, I, let me move the slide out of the way. I have this uh, area that I keep all of my blocks and stuff and you guys probably recognize a lot of these from previous videos but i just keep them here to keep them handy and then over here same thing i have some work in progress um patterns that i was working on um let me show you guys the closet but first here's a quick look again at what this room looks like okay guys here is the real the real monstrous area of my craft room. So to the right, I have a ton of patterns from school that I have saved, old garments um, from school that I've saved. Um, I really need to go through here again, and this is actually after cleaning out a bunch of them. Um, but yeah, I have a ton of them back here. It's really hard for me to show you because they're like so crammed in there, but yeah, I have a lot of patterns and stuff hanging in here. And then uh, on this side, um, I have a lot of s different things that I either wanted to repair or I wanted to kind of transform and upcycle. Um, but I have a ton of clothes here and like, it's so bad that it's actually like been, I don't know if you can see, it's actually like bending this bar cause there's no extra support. I really need to stop that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I have a bunch of extra printable patterns on this side too that I printed out ages ago from various websites. Um, and then I have some more of my blocks that I kept here from ages back. So if I go up here, I have bolts of fabric that I've bought throughout the years that I, once again, have not used. And then over here, um, I have foldable stuff that I plan on making alterations to or whatever. This bag here is just a bag that I have uh, full of old fallout from work that, once again, I could not stand to throw out. So. Here it is. <laughs> and then down here, this is really the shame of the place. Um, these bags are entirely full of fur. 
Um, and so is, I don't know, it's really hard to see, but so is this guy here. It's completely full with fur. And this is all fallout or, you know, miss, I think it's all fallout actually. I don't think any of this is miscuts. Um, but yeah, so there's just a ridiculous amount. I got it from work. It's like, what are you going to do? It's not real fur, by the way, guys. It's, it's fake fur, <laughs> but, um, it's, you know, still it's expensive. And I'm just like, there's big chunks here that I could do something with. Even if it's like a Halloween costume, like it's free, free, it's free, it's free. <laughs> But um, other than that, I have some bags of polyester stuffing. I keep all of my old Halloween costumes and stuff that I made in here. And then I have my boxes for my um, sewing machine and serger and everything. So yeah, it's uh, probably the messiest part of the entire room, but I gotta actually go through all of this fur and put it into that bin before I leave. But I don't know if my nose is ready to deal with all the flying fur <laughs> we'll see but okay guys that was my entire craft room hopefully you got something out of this other than just stress from all of the clutter that is in this room <laughs> um really whenever i move i'm hoping to declutter a lot of this and get rid of what i don't need donate it or whatever um but I really need help with some organization solutions. So if you guys have anything, like y'all saw something that like will be an easy fix or whatever, like let me know because I could use all the tips I could get. Granted, my craft room looks way better than it used to like years and years back um, before I moved here. So I'm actually really happy with like how organized it is right now, but I just want to step it up a bit. Hopefully some of you guys got some um, uh, tips from this video you guys got some inspiration some ideas or at the very least you know um got a cautionary tale of what not to do or how you could end up with your fabric hoarder um but honestly like i hate 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 like how much waste there is in the fashion industry i can't stand seeing such large amounts of fallout go into the trash it's a waste of money so that's freaking annoying but it's also just like terrible for the planet like fashion the fashion industry is one of the biggest pollution problems and I hate being part of the problem so I really just try and save as much as I can from it. Um, I'm hoping to do some scrap busting style videos at the end of the year to show you guys how you can you know use your scraps instead of throwing them out. Um, I think it'll be useful around Christmas time especially so you guys can make some gifts and things on the cheap. Um, but yeah if you guys have any organization solutions um, let me know because like I said, I want my my new sewing studio at my new house to be as efficient as possible and like stress-free because this is kind of stressful to walk into some days. So that is my goal. But if you guys like this video, go ahead and share it across your social media platforms. Um, and if you want to see anything new, you want to get the notifications or whatever, go ahead and hit subscribe so it'll be in your subscription box. But otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully in a new house. Bye.